good, a really good player, it'll shock you. All right, that sounds pretty good. And Team Mac gonna be rocking the wolf with aces galore on the Lucina, and definitely been a lot of talks. And two sword characters are fighting it out right here. All right, so getting into game one here, headsets on and all, they are ready to hear everything that's going on. And right now, Lucina going in with a photo, but it's gonna get shield guard. T-Mac with the up throw, but does not connect the up air afterwards. Yeah, a little bit of exchange going on right now. Aces Galore is using those blasters at point. No, T-Mac is using them at such a point blank range. It's a little risky, but a great carry. So Aces Galore trying to find his way in. Both exchanging aerials, but it seems that Aces Galore is getting the better of the hits. and does not shoot up an up special, so right now we are sitting right back to neutral. Yeah, I feel like he didn't expect T-Mac to go for such an aggressive option this early into the set, and instead go for maybe a high angle downward towards the ledge. Ace's Gore was looking to punish it, but did not find it. That's gonna be a side beat. No, an upbeat from straight below the ledge. The ledge trapping does not let up here. Yeah, right now most of the season players do prefer to use down tilt near the ledge, preferring it to go for those edge guards. But T Mac doing his best to fight back. He's throwing out these aerials. He's able to air, but a great into the back. Trump. Aces Galore takes the first stock. So T Mac taking a little bit of time to reconsider his options because as you see multiple times, a lot of wolf players like to go for the cross up Ooh. and great wolf flash. First of all, they like to go for using their nair as a cross up option, but Lucina is able just to do a nair out of her shield, which cross, which actually covers both options. Yeah, it's a very strong T Mac looking for the down smash, but he does not get it out in time. The Foda will beat him out, and now Lucina back in center stage. She's doing the best she can. She's right now she's trying to use her aerials, but T Mac, he's using his nair a lot, but it seems like he's just throwing out these arrows just because he can, not because he should. Yeah, now this is a really bad spot. He knew it was coming. T-Mac drifted back just a little bit. Aces Galore recognizes, you know what? If you're not drifting towards the ledge, that means you're trying to set up this side B. I'm gonna just go back, wait for it to come on stage like you do, and then I'm gonna punish it. And that, that could have been a back throw right there, so that's a missed opportunity, but T-Mac with the up tilt finally does take it, but a little bit of risk coming in once again off stage, and the down tilt does catch oh it God. out, but no kill just yet. Aces Galore doing a fantastic job controlling this match. Yeah. I I feel like I would like to see something a bit more than in what we got after that first down tilt. You know, he caught T-Mac in a really bad position. He was forced to up be pretty low. He could have gone out and edge guarded, but instead lets him back on, just racks up the damage on stage. Yeah, it's not looking too well for him. So T-Mac finally got the aerial exchanges down, but do remember he is a stock down. So he is currently at disadvantage, a shield breaker attempt. I like that from her. And remember, a lot of Lucina's, a lot of sword characters like to use their down tilt a lot more than neutral because you do force them in a tech situation. And she's going so deep for these edge guards and unable to find anything. Yeah, that was a great recovery right there from T-Mac, just narrowly avoiding the Lucina backer that most definitely was able to stay. Definitely would have killed him out there. 121%. He is one F smash away. Dolphin Slash does force him off and he air dodges right back on, but unable to find anything. Another one, but a whiffed. On both sides, T-Mac trying to reset something, but that Nair forcing him off, not dead quite yet. Yeah, we get the zoom in, and again, we see the crowd, but he doesn't get the counter iron time. It looked, I'm assuming that's what he would have liked to get, but not committing to it. That's gonna be a punish. Great shield breaker right there, using the drift on it to recover a folder, not gonna kill from across the stage. Yeah, T-Mac forced off once again. It spells disaster for him. 171, yeah. you're that back air, sure's got your name on it. So game number one, going into fair bases. Yeah, and that was a very convincing game right there from Aces Galore, you know. It was a two-stock, he was kind of at high percent, but he kind of flubbed a little bit on some edge guarding. We could have seen him get the stock a little bit earlier. He let T-Mac up, the, or side be straight into him at the ledge when he was looking for the counter. Yeah, uh, stock number one looked very even oh, on yeah. both sides. It was, it was just both exchanging the aerials, but what happened was is that Aces just got the better of it due to the fact that he is, once again, a sword character, was able to space out the aerials much better, and anytime time T-Mac went for a blaster, Aces was already right in front of him, ready to contest it. Yeah, and you recognize there is a little bit of lag on that move, you know. A lot of wolves like to throw it out just as kind of a I don't know what else to do option, mm -hmm. but it has some lag, and Aces Galore recognizing it, staying at a range where he can react with a jump over it and just get a solid punish. It's just like it's just like Street Fighter. Anytime you throw a fireball, you need to make sure that you're carefully spaced out because your opponent can just jump right straight towards you and you're getting quite a lot of damage. And I remember T-Mac doing his best to use cross up aerials, but Lucina is able to catch it using a short hop short hop nair. We're actually seeing a character swap from Wolf to Fox, another spacey. Yeah, I mean T-Mac I believe he did play the 
Fox in Smash 4, so I'm not surprised to see it sticking around in this game. Fox one of those characters that people don't really know if he's really good or not. Like, we obviously have, like, uh, playing and work with the character, but we don't see a lot of representation outside of that. I mean, it's not just like it's Luis himself. Luis yes. doing as well, representing the North Cal, and he's able to get a lot of combos down. It's just that there's a lot of doubt, because other than Luis and Light, you don't see too much of representation, like you said, and Fox is vulnerable to edge guards because his recovery is quite linear, but you still have those kill potentials with a fast fall nair into a tech chase up smash. Yeah, and Fox's Nair is insanely strong in this game. It, even if, though it, on top of it setting up for an up smash, it can also link it to other things at lower percents as well. So I'm assuming we're gonna see that a lot from T-Mac, but the down throw into the up air is not gonna connect, not even at 80%. Back air, great drift right there. This is a dead Fox. Great counter, like I said earlier, linear recovery. You're gonna know exactly where it's come up from. And Ace's Galore on this Lucina is able to fully exploit that. Great parry, but the Dancing Blade is gonna be multiple hits, so you just have to be forced to shield it out. But T Mac, forced in a really uncomfortable position. It seems like that any time at, at stock number one, they're both even, but as soon as Aces takes the lead, T Mac seems to struggle to look for these kills. Yeah, it feels like he really starts to just recognize, I need to get a kill. Aces, you need to go down there in that situation. That should have been another stock given to you on a silver platter, but instead, Aces kind of dropping it a little bit. Yeah, he's loving a little bit, but he's still got the damage opportunities. He's still getting those kills and a whiff to up smash. You can't do that. It went for the tech chase, but unable to find the T Mac. Forced him off this off in the bad position, but I don't like his use of uh, of Fox Illusion in these really awkward situations. I think it's a good mix up, but he can only go for it a couple of times before AC Galore starts to catch on. Mm -hmm. And especially uh, Fox Illusion is vulnerable to down tilt near the ledge, so he's got to be careful of that missed edge guard once more. So Ace is Galore, loving a little bit on the movement, unable to find anything but the F tilt, finally catches out T Mac down tilt in the wrong direction, but. A nice parry from both from uh, from Aces Galore himself, but it seems that T Mac. This is the worst situation that Fox can be in at super high percents. None of your fast fall aerials do combo into anything, so you're relying on a very hard read to get it. And as soon as this is happening, a lot of dolphin slashes. That's got to be a punish somewhere. Yeah, that's a dead Fox once again. No, he goes for a down here, just drop off and back here. But Aces Galore with the F tilt is going to be the stock. Good lead trapping from him. I feel like we're seeing Aces Galore almost get ahead of himself a little bit where he's going for these options in anticipation of what Fox is going to do when he puts Fox in a situation where he can most definitely react. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like last time you saw him counter the, the Fire Fox and T-Mac does take the stock, but is it too little too late? 44%, this is definitely possible. Once again, forced off stage. He does interrupt it, but it just Ooh. wasn't at the right time. Yeah, the hitbox of Illusion actually catching him out, but that's a back oh, that go. should be a dead Fox. Mm -hmm. And the back here gets the tech as well, just for good measure. Doesn't even matter. I'm pretty sure he could have recovered either way, but even if he has another stock to go. Yeah, great job by him. Aces Galore, like you said, you were talking about how he needed to go though for this edge guards, and finally, when it did matter, he yeah. did go for it, was able to get the kill just off of that. And like we said earlier, Fox is 